Is this a must-win matchup versus the Colts? Let's talk about it. What up, what up? What's up, Ace Town? What's going down? Yo, is this a must-win game, Omar? Week 8 division <laughs> opponent. The boys over there in Indy are four and three. We are five and two. We lose this game. We drop this game to these brothers. We got the same record in the division. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something interesting about that, man. If we drop this game, we end up with the same record going forward. I'm gonna tell you something interesting. But first, yo, thank y'all for being here on the Bull Run Sports Podcast. Let's we go. Do. We here, we locked in, baby. And uh, yeah, y'all know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons, hit the bell notification so you know when these videos are coming. This is our prediction video, so y'all already know what to do. Y'all yep. guess the correct score. Predict the correct score of this matchup, of the Texans and Colts matchup. Guess what? You're going to win some free merch from our Bull Run shop, man. Y'all check it out. It's right down there in the description. You can yes, scroll sir. through, check out all some of the badass designs on T-shirts that we got, and uh, pick out your favorite one, and then drop the comment of y'all's prediction for the score and guess what we're gonna send you out a free joint bro so um since us gotta be subscribed too that. don't forget about yeah. that we gotta be subscribed yeah and uh we'll get you sorted out but 100 man might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now as you uh head it out to the to the merch shop man but yo omar dog we we talk about it all the time our schedule gets crazy down oh the yeah, straight, yeah, yeah bro yeah. Yeah. Guess whose schedule gets easier down the stretch? Yeah, the Colts. <clears throat> the Colts. Also, you know, isn't a, isn't a must? I mean, any division game is a big one, right? I know your prediction for the beginning of the season, and which is still like holding out true, is that we were just gonna run through these boys in the division, man. We was you said we was gonna go undefeated, right? That's exactly what I said. I am still, I guess, a little sneak peek to my prediction is that I, I I say we're still going to continue to hold that. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll obviously get to some of the details. But, yeah, I, I have us winning out in the division. I mean, once again, we're still, in my in my mind, head and shoulders above anybody within our division. I, I don't yeah. think that this is – I don't think that this is anything um, out, out, of the, out of this world. It's it's all about the situation that you come into each week with, right? Like we, we said it at the beginning of the season, right? Paper champs, right? I mean, like we had everything going for us, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, for sure. And you know, and then we, you know, we suffer the mixing injury. Now we're, you know, now we got the um um Nico. with Nico being out and, and and some of our top defensive guys being out. Like having having Nico out sucks, bro. Dog, it's so bad. It's well, ha- let me t- let me say this. Having Nico, cold. yeah, having Nico out sucks. But then having Nico out with Tank Dell in a slump is the worst, right? Yeah. Like, like I, I, I don't know, man. I, I was, I was happy to see Hutch grab a couple of pass, passes and stuff like that. But it, it's not. You can't. I don't think we were expecting for Dell to like match Nico's production, but at the same time, zero catches. Like, yeah, man. That's this tough, is man. This sucks, dude. I don't know what's going on with the brother. You know, it. <laughs> It's like you say, you're not gonna come in and be Nico Collins. Nico Collins right. is in the league of his own right now. I mean, if he wouldn't have got hurt, hell, bro, he's still in like the top five of of receivers right and now, even though he he's been out for yes, so long. Exactly. Um, it's crazy, you know, the production he was putting up this year. But dog, I don't know what's going. Tank is on the back of a milk carton, bro, and it is it's not good. It's not good. I mean, I, I haven't heard too many people panicking over it, but. Nah. Knowing how good he was last year and the expectations coming into this year has just not been met, bro. So yeah, and, and even uh back. CJ, you know, made a comment about it. Um, but again, he's he's you know, he's obviously gonna stand by his boy. Um, yeah. which is which is why I was very um, you know, um uh, I, I made absolute sure that I, I called it a slump, right? I mean, it's just a slump in my opinion. Um, because yeah. to to have him have that kind of a production where he had no catches, like no catch, like I can understand if he had no catches and Nico was out there balling, right? But with Nico gone, yeah. that opens up so much for the rest of these wide receivers that you don't expect them to have 
really bad showings like that. And again, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a skill thing because we all know he he can ball. I don't think you know it, it might just be a matchup situation. I think that might have been part of the game plan uh, that they were trying to take Dell away and then like say, okay, have anybody else but Dell beat us. We already got Nico on IR that helped us. Now we're going to take away Dell from you completely and and try to do anything beat us any other way. But yeah, but at the same time, if we judging it solely based on the Packers game, the CJ only put up eighty six yards. Bro. That's the other so, thing too. CJ you know, was absolutely like, running for his life the entire game. Yeah. So it's like yeah, you know. I'm not just talking about the Packers game. <clears throat> the whole season, uh, Tank hasn't looked like Tank. Or, no, he has What he the flashes that he showed last season and and everything, man. It just it just. He just ain't been that uh that caliber of guy, man. So hopefully we need him this game. You know, yeah, we definitely I, I don't do. I don't know if I would say this is a must win. Obviously, I mean it's just week eight, you know, and it's but but it, to your point though, I mean, you know, our, our schedule doesn't get any easier, their schedule doesn't get any harder, right? Like it, it, we talked about this in the last video, right? About how you and I are pretty critical about some of the things that we're seeing in this game, uh, even even in very close games like the one we just had with the Packers. Uh, and and much of the games that we've had this this uh, season where we've come out with the W, but it was a very sloppy W, right? We're, yeah. we're we're being very we're being very particular about some of the things because we know that our schedule on the back end on the back nine of this season is gonna be is gonna be murderers yeah. row. It's gonna be tough, right? And so yeah, man, that's not the case for the Colts. So I'll answer your question, bro. Yes, this is a must win for us, right? Because what what's the goal this season, right? The goal this season is to win our division and to place high enough within our conference to to get a good spot with within within the playoffs, right? Like that's if, if we, we need if a buy. I mean, not not about we, we need we need home field advantage. We need I mean, home field buy, advantage, buy, right? If, if we too, get yeah. the buy, that'd be that's that's yeah. obviously just that'd be phenomenal, right? But yeah. at bare minimum, we're looking for the home field advantage, right? And we need to win out our division, right? And yeah. so if those two things are precursors to us being in, in New Orleans in February, then then yes, bro. This game, yeah. this game is a very pivotal game for how the rest of the season is going to play out because yeah. the trajectory of where these two teams are going is gonna is gonna really be th- this game is gonna really be important to how things pan out for us because first step is yeah. that we win our division. And that's a that's a good that's a good point, Omar. You know, I think it's one of the reasons why we we play down to our opponents sometimes, tough, right? Man. You know, and 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 we're known to do that. <laughs> so I love the way that you put it. Our expectations and our goal is right. not to just win the division. It's Correct. to be in line step with the Kansas Cities, with the Baltimore Ravens yes. and all of that and compete with them and, and get this home field advantage because we don't want to play neither one of those teams no. in a place. We want them to come to the H. So if that's the case, yeah, all these games are, are must-win games, especially against the division opponent. The division, yeah. When Look, let's speak, let's speak bluntly because this is what we fucking do here. We that's speak we do. bluntly, dog. This is a team that we should beat. We are the better team. I don't care what, on paper, whatever. Look, we got the better quarterback. We yeah. we arguably a better uh, runner. Joe Mixon's balling right now, bro. He Joe is. Mixon almost yeah. single handedly saved our ass in 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 Green Bay. You know, yeah. despite terrible offensive line play. Jonathan Taylor is banged up. I think he is going to play this week. But look. All in all, we we have the better team. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's speak our shit. Let's speak bluntly. Speaking of, bro, uh, little caveat. Like somebody in the comments, dog. Uh, it, it was I think it was on the solo video that I did whenever whenever you were out uh, last week. Was like, oh, I was going hit I was going hit the subscribe button, but uh, I don't like. Oh yeah, but, yeah, you but you guys, you, yeah, you, you guys are very that? unprofessional. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't for you, bro. This channel ain't for you. I told him as politely as I could. <laughs> oh, I was I'm like, sorry. "Excuse me, Pastor, Sir, <laughs> this ain't this ain't the channel you're looking for, man." Fucking Mother Teresa over here, man. Get the hell out of here with that <laughs> shit, like, man. Th- that's what people will do, though, man. Look, a little a little life lesson to anybody watching this shit, bro. Don't change what you're doing based on like one somebody's comment, dog. That's a recipe to make your ass unsuccessful quick. All right, like Omar, 
you used to do music. I used to do music as well. How many times would, oh, you, yeah. would you would you showcase a piece of your music to somebody and be like, oh, man, what you think? You show it to 10 people, right? Nine out of those 10 people are like, dog, it's fire. It's fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's that one person. Well, I was like, ah, I ain't feeling it. All right. It's like, uh, all right so, then what are, your, what are your dumb ass? What are you inclined to <laughs> think and do? You're like, oh, man, I got, I got to focus on that one negative comment. I got to yeah. change up what I'm doing. How can I get that? Fuck that one person, okay? <laughs> and fuck that one person that was like, oh, the foul language. Sir, find yeah. another. Yeah, find another channel, bro. I don't know what to tell you. I, the, listen, the, go, go see if Joel Osteen has a, a sports <laughs> uh, a sports channel. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. I'm from, you know, I'm from the hood, man. I'm from Maker's Home. That's how we That's how we grew up. That's how we talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I uh, Gary, Gary V put it best, right, when he said, Somebody, somebody talked to him about, if you guys don't know who Gary Vee is, go look him up. He curses a lot, right? And somebody yeah. said, hey, don't you think that, like, if you cleaned it up, like, you would be better? Like, you would reach more people? And he goes, absolutely. Absolutely. He goes, and that's something that I just deal with, right? I, yeah. I just, I, yeah. I have to understand that my message is not going to be received by everybody the same. However, whenever I think, whenever I think of something, like, whenever I think of saying, like, oh, man, we killed it. To me, authentically, it sounds like we fucking killed it. He goes, and that's just me. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. You know? So it's like, whatever, you know? And it, look, how many times have you heard, like, people that use foul language are some of the most honest people in the world? You know what I'm saying? You're yes, getting that is true. authentic content right here. Like, we're not missing our words. Yeah. We're not trying to sugarcoat Listen, stuff. If this not... was scripted, we, we, we'd, we'd be a couple choir boys. You know what I mean? But this ain't scripted. We just talk shit, so... Shout out to yeah. those of you who have been rocking with us and rolling with us for the whole yeah. season. We appreciate y'all. And listen, yeah. shout out to those of you who uh, who got the balls to put a, a comment like that in the comment section. You know, to tell us that we're <laughs> too dirty because uh, it's a compliment, I suppose. Yeah, don't worry, we ain't we ain't changing up, man. So no, anyway, uh, uh, injuries, bro. While we were talking about this, I, I was looking up some injuries. Um, but you you were gonna get into something, my bad. Go ahead. No, 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 no. We can we can get into injuries, bro. Uh, because okay. that's. You know that's that's part of the keys to the game, right? Like if, yeah. if we are considering this a must win, which we are, uh, injuries are going are going to play a, a huge pivotal role. So right out the, right up there at the top of the list, right off boy, the top of the list, bro. Out here, still out with a with with a knee injury. Did not practice Wednesday. Did not practice Thursday. Obviously, Friday is the telltale day, right? We're recording this on Friday. Uh, we're recording this on Friday to release it on on Saturday morning. Yo, so you know. That's that's not a good look, right? Um, he didn't practice Wednesday, didn't practice Thursday. Chances are he's not going to practice Friday. He's probably going to be out for this week as well. Uh, yeah. Fatu Kasi, two days of limited practice, which is he'll, you know, he'll be out there. He'll be out look, there for I'm, sure. Honestly, bro, I don't want I don't want to jump the gun. I mean, you guys, uh, y'all y'all can see this on the screen, right? Y'all can see the the injury list, right? Um, what's oh, the ones that stand on. out to you? I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to sound crazy right now. You let me know if I sound crazy, bro. We talked about it last episode. I'm almost not worried about our defense, bro. I mean, even you with you're not worried about it. I'm not worried about our defense. Yeah. I mean, look. So I don't <laughs> see any names that that besides Aziz, right? I, we would love to have Aziz out there, but bro, we didn't have Aziz or Henry Toto against the Packers, and we should have won that game. The, right. The, the, the defense is not the reason that we lost. That no, game. definitely not. Definitely you know, not. So, um, if anything, they were, I mean, they were the bright spot, man. I'm not, yes. you know, it looks like, it looks like, um, a boy is going to be back out there. Um, uh, Kamari Lasseter, you know, the guys that are limited, it looked like they trending in the right direction, man. Right. Anybody right. else, you know, I'm just not worried about the defense, bro. Is that crazy? No, I'm not. I think our defense is solid. Even the guys that come in and in, in relief effort, even the second and third string guys were yeah. out there. Holding it down, right? Bro, they holding it down. Bro, I mean, it's just our scheme. It's just the way they play. You know, D'Amico has these guys right, and then we brought in, we brought in Devin White. That's you know, we, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, we didn't talk about that signing, man. No, I we think, didn't. I, th I think it was a steal, Omar. I, I think, I think so too. Um, you know, coming, yeah. I, 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 so it's a little weird, right? Because once again, you know, why why was he so easy to acquire, right? Because like. You know, he left Tampa Bay, right, and then went to went to the Eagles. Didn't play a single down. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, be, got cut. Right, it's like okay, so mm, what happened there? Like, I, I, I'm always weary about that kind of stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, like, yeah. I, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm happy that we got you know a Pro Bowl uh, linebacker. Right, I mean the 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 dude Super is Bowl winning Super Bowl, Bowl winning. You know, 
I'm always interested in in picking up guys that have been like he's he played with Brady, right? So it's like I always feel like guys that have played that have been around. Let's let's just face it, Brady's the goat, right? Oh, yeah. Guys who have who have played alongside Brady, I always feel like they can bring a little something because they've seen it, they've played with it, they've been beside it, they've been around it, they no know doubt, what no greatness doubt. looks like, right? Yeah. And then they made it to the top of the hill and won won the championship, right? So. I always feel like guys like that are so invaluable in terms of uh, bringing just experience to to this young group of guys that we have, right? No doubt. So I was really excited about seeing that signing and seeing that that addition to our, especially to our defense. But then, like you said, it's like, hey man, why, why ain't you signing some offensive line guys? I mean, like we, we're good on defense, bro. We don't, you know what I mean? Well, that tells that tells you two, a couple things, right? Like to your point, to your first question. Why was he available? Why was he just sitting on the street? And that's yeah. a little concerning because it's like obviously it has to be injury issues, right? Like right. the boy is a baller, like he can right. play, you know, he's still relatively young, too. So it's like to me, that indicates that there's some injury concerns, but hopefully, you know, throughout this time, he's been able to get healthy. Mm. Uh, the other thing is how healthy is Aziz, you know, because why are you going out there? With with all the other glaring holes and issues that we have on this team, going out there and filling up a spot that you know essentially we should have kind of locked down. Now, obviously, Christian Harris still ain't been activated from his injury. How bad is is that? His situation, you know, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. that. So either one of those guys much must be a little bit more worse off than the team is letting on because otherwise you don't go out there and make a sign and sign like up so, you know what i ain't even think about that bro that's true it's something it's something to monitor it's something to monitor but hey either way we got them we're addressing the issue or toe toe for that matter yeah I, well i think so is gonna play is he i think he so i think he didn't practice on thursday yeah i see that i see that friday's I gonna be know. the tell because he, the, the the thing that concerns me about toe toe is that he had limited practice on Wednesday, didn't practice on Thursday. Now we, yeah, that's weird. we know what that what that okie doke can look like, right? With yeah, uh, sure. you know, when, when we when we went through that with Mixon, but um, that always scares me, right? The limited practice and then the complete did not practice. You know, the very next yeah. day, that's always a little little worrisome. You know, you kind of want to see it go the the other way, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm with you, bro. I, I don't think you know. Obviously, Nico being on IR is our biggest, our biggest he, thing. He, like the Colts, got to be grinning ear to ear. That they yeah, for sure. Have to see Nico, he's just a cult killer, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they have nightmares about that dude, bro. So yeah. it it sucks to not have him out there. I mean, like we say with with Tank, <laughs> dropping passes, bro. I mean, how many passes is this kid gonna drop? You know, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's just. You don't expect to see that, so you know. It's been a tough situation for 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 Dell. Um, yeah. it, it it's not. It's very um, unlike him. Yeah. You know, he was considered. I was considered. You know, we, we everybody considered him one of the three headed three headed monster. Yeah, you and know. I don't want to. Obviously, you know, I don't want to write him off. You know, no, of he, course not. He hasn't had a great start to the season, man. But you know, we need him. We need him right now, bro. You know, yeah. we. Uh, you think we, it might you know, be mental? It might be, bro. Shit, he, he had a hell of an offseason. Just terrible. So he, Obviously yeah. rehabbing from a broken leg and then yeah. getting shot. Like, dog, that's – that's but, that can – But think of the sequence of events that this brother's been through, right? So the last season he comes out of nowhere, right? And everybody's like, who the, who the fuck is this guy, yeah. right? Balling out of control. Then he gets injured, right? So that's like, damn. Then he gets shot. It's like, damn. Yeah. Then he comes back, and then Nico's number one. It's like, damn. So I, I, you know, he comes back from all of this, all of this turmoil, and all all these these things, makes it back to the field, only to be what third string guy, like third 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 read, basically. You know what I mean? Not getting a whole lot of action, not getting a whole lot of passes. Yeah, right. I, so. I would hope that wouldn't be the case. Like he's not thinking like that because that's and, a diva and, attitude, right? You know, nah, but from, that's not. I, I feel like that's human though. Like that's just like, yeah. dang, you know, like it's really easy to get down in the dumps when that's been the last eighteen months of your life. Yeah, I, th I, th I definitely think the rehab and, and then getting shot. That yeah. stuff for sure, man. Yeah. I mean, bro, we can't. I, I can't relate to that. You know, so I don't know what part of the hood you grew up in, but I ain't took a bullet. So, no, nah, I, 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 I ain't never been shot. 
Yeah, bro. I don't I don't know how that affects you. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't I wouldn't think that it's something you just brush off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get I'm right good. back on ours, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, nah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Nah, but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, we definitely need them, man. We definitely need them. Um, you know, Hutch. Let me see what's Hutch been doing, man, because he's another one that's kind of been been he had that I'm incredible sneaking pack. around. At the at the end of the Packers game, man, it looked like he was gonna save our ass. Um, he's been serviceable, bro. That's what I'm saying. I mean, th- th- these are the kind of things that, like, you know, we spent you and I spent so much time talking about our depth. Um, that you know, it, well, well, like we talked about, Omar, it don't matter. It don't matter who's running routes. I mean, if CJ don't have time to get on the ball, Dad, it, it yeah, don't man. matter. You got Jerry Rice out there, bro. You know. You, 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 they, they got to be able to protect. Yeah, they, they got to be able to protect, man. And hopefully, look, Bobby Sloick, D'Amico, like they've all said the right things throughout this week. You know, in the press conferences, like, oh man, it's just correctable stuff, and we're addressing it. We're good. You know, they all, they always say these things. Uh, we gonna see. <laughs> yeah, bro. We gonna see, dog. I mean, look, the Colts. Let's let's so let's 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 get into the nitty gritty, bro. The Colts, they looking at chops. They hungry. You know, yeah. we barely escaped with it with a win week one against these guys. Um, they coming back, you know. I think I think they're relatively healthy, man. You know, Anthony Richardson is gonna be out there. Jonathan Taylor uh should be out there. DeForest, you know, DeForest Bugner, he's been out, but it looks like he's gonna play. So look, we're getting a full complement of guys. Um and they 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 coming with it. I mean, they they yeah. They they want to win, you know. They they definitely want to spoil uh the day, the Dre Day, AK nigga. Uh, oh yeah, that that is that's right. It's uh Andre Johnson's uh, um, they're doing a special thing for Andre, right? The holiday. yeah man, yeah. So, um, look, bro, we gotta we gotta we gotta contain Anthony Richardson. We know their bread and butter. We know what they want to do, and we've seen it. We we predicted almost perfectly the game, the first you know game one. Right on what their game plan was going to be and exactly how to get the win. It's got to be the same thing, bro. I almost think they're better. They're a better team with Joe Flacco at quarterback. You know what I'm saying? So I'm almost happy yeah. to see uh, Anthony Richardson back there instead of Flacco. Yeah, they're they're really hanging on that experiment, aren't they? Like they're really like hoping that he develops some level of accuracy to go along with all of his other athletic accolades, right? Like, can you imagine if that? Can you imagine if that brother was accurate? That would be that dude. Give 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 Anthony Richardson CJ Stroud like accuracy, and oh, he no. would be an absolute problem. Yeah, bro, absolute problem. Yeah, no, I wouldn't you like. I don't want to live in. I don't want to live in spirit over there with your black cat, man. Yeah, I don't know I don't, who let. I don't know who let him in, bro. My, I don't know, who, I don't know how you. Do, I don't know how you do cats, brother. I can't yeah. do it. I'm. I'm it may be because I'm Mexican. We don't really deal with. We don't really fuck with cats like that. Would you try to eat them? Nah, bro. They're a gateway to the to 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 hell. You know that? Nah, I know that. Ah, brother, look it up. That's crazy. Look it up. We don't deal with cats in this house, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, well, I'm I'm not happy that he's in here. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> man, little cameo. Um, yeah. But yeah, man, Anthony Richardson. I I, I agree with you, bro. I, I definitely rather see him behind center than than Flacco. Flacco. A little bit more of a um, in the pocket dice you up type of quarterback rather than um, yeah, a run man. threat, and those are always harder to deal with, man. Yeah, I think I think we look. I don't want to say we got it figured out because obviously we know what they want to do. We know they want to ground and pound. Uh, like I say, Jonathan Taylor, we we kind of bottled him up. We kind of contained him, you know, for the most part uh, mm. the, the first game. But man, we know what he can do. He ate us up in that. Uh, last game of the season last year you know essentially that that playoff game that you know was gonna was gonna get either one of the teams into the playoffs um i mean shoot he almost he almost won it for him bro so we got to make sure that we stay on that um that we contain him on the ground you know him and ar bro but hey the key to the victory make anthony richardson throw the ball yes make, contain make him. Throw the ball. i mean like i said we, we got predict- we got to steal up those edges we gotta yeah. we gotta fill up those edges, man. It's on. It's gonna be on the defense. And again, you, like you said, man, and, I, and I'm with you on it. We, I'm not worried about our defense. We gotta lock up the edges. That's, I mean, that's obviously got to be part of that game plan, is to um, make sure that he does not 
figure out a way to get behind or in front of that line of scrimmage. Because if he does, then you got a problem, man. That's a that's a that's a fucking stallion. Once he gets running, yeah. forget about it, bro. He's gone. He drug, so, bro, remember he drug like uh, four of our guys. Yes, bro. bro from, like five yards out. It's, he's a yeah, beast. Yeah. Dog, yeah, that dude, like, the, the, the kid, yeah, the kid's a monster, man. And and uh man, I, I just again for for our sake, because they're divisional opponents, I hope that kid never figures out the accuracy piece of his <laughs> game. Because if he does, brother, we are in trouble. We in trouble. Yeah, no, for sure. That's a nightmare scenario. Him having CJ's accuracy, and he says, I mean, that's what he inspires to to do. Yeah, but yeah, hopefully, I just hopefully, hope he doesn't hopefully, figure hopefully, it out. Yeah, hopefully, he don't, bro. Um, we're we're you know, we're that, going man, into this, you know. Uh, a favorite. So that's uh, you know, Vegas likes us plus five. Uh, no, we, I mean, we we at home, you know, you know, and yeah. like I said, we're, we're the better team, so I'm not surprised yeah. by that. I'm sure that's kind of low, actually. Shit, bro, we should. That's a testament to how bad our offensive line is, and and, and how inconsistent we've been, right? Yes, we should be at least a touchdown favorite against the Colts, but, bro. So I'm I'm with you on that, and that's something that you and I were looking up. I was looking up some stats. Just team stats, right? Like, I didn't want to get into the individual nitty-gritty of our players, but just overall team stats, uh, offensive yards, we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're number nine in offense, the Texans are. Offensive yards, total yards in offense, number nine. The Colts are number 13, or sorry, number 12. So they're not mm -hmm. far behind us, right? Like, it's not yeah. like there's this glaring gap of, like, we're – we're top 10 in offensive yards and they're 23rd. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, 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 they're, yeah. they're right there. So that's in total, total yards. Now in passing yards, uh, we're top 10. And I think they're not because obviously we just talked about Anthony Richardson. So again, yeah, that's not, point, that's not their offense. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. To your point, the keys of the game being keep that brother contained because yeah. in rushing yards, we're there are above us. Right. I think we're like number 12 and they're like number 11 uh, yeah. because they have such a such a um, a weapon um, uh, in their quarterback. So, yeah, I mean, those are just some of just just like really quick stats. Right. It's This is not this is not a throwaway game. Right. Like this is this is a pretty even matchup uh, in that sense. But to your point, if, if there's if any a, keys, it's that yeah. one key is, is containing Anthony Richardson. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, in, I mean, a, a, a division opponent is always going to be tough, right? But, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, we should have the edge. You know, we we have the better team. We got the better quarterback. And, hell, we talk about it all the time. In NFL, man, you got the better quarterback. You got the better team, you know. But, shit, our team is all around better. I love our defense. I mean, yeah. our defense is balling out, man. <laughs> you know, without without our defense playing the way that they're playing, we're not 5-2 right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, I agree. And I uh, agree. I just I I want I definitely look. I, I guess I'll spoil my prediction. I think we win this game. I think we get this game. I don't want to say oh it's gonna be a blowout or anything like that. I think we're gonna win, you know. But I want to see us look good. I want to see our offensive line handle their business. Look, the Colts will be damn fools to not throw stunts at us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to of course. <laughs> do everything that's been working with these other teams. So that we're going to see it, right? They're right. going to test us. They're going to see, okay, hey, is Bobby Slowick and, and D'Amico Ryan's right that they got it figured out, that they got their right. communication down, that they're going to have their blocking assignments right, blah, blah, blah. We're going to get it early and often, right? So yeah. I want to see agree. that we actually do have this cleaned up, bro. Yeah, I mean – that's that's gonna be my I don't I damn near don't give me give a damn about the rest of the game, bro. You know what right. I'm saying? Like <laughs> I'm gonna be looking in them trenches, you know. Yeah. Every everything else after the ball gets to CJ's hands and he gets it out, that's secondary to me. I want to see are we gonna do what we supposed to do fundamentally, keep CJ clean and uh and him be able to 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 I mean just play regular fucking football, man. I, I just I I don't want to see CJ running for his life again. No, right? I my my liter I my heart literally skipped a beat when he got hit on the yeah. sideline. That was a nasty hit, man. Like I don't think yeah. people really are talking about that enough. That was a nasty. I don't want to see CJ Stroud running for his life like that, taking hits like that, right? He's not built for that, right? So what else? Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. No you one know? is. <laughs> no, 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 of course. Yeah, no one is. But I'm saying, like, 
you know, big guy like Anthony Richardson. I mean, he's he's probably a little bit more. Yeah, you know, true. Built to take a hit like that, but either way it goes, man. I just you got to clean it up. You got to clean it up starting this week, Omar. Because guess yeah. what we got next week? Yeah, no, I'm with we you. Got, bro, we got the Jets who they concussed CJ last year. CJ you know, missed two games. He had the worst game of his career against the Jets. You know, so look, I mean, that was part of the issue too last year. Yeah, I know yeah. this is a different team this year, but bruh, we got to clean these things up now. Right. Starting this game before we go in there and deal with the defense that we know is going to get after his ass. You know, so yeah. I don't know. Um, no, I think you did it. I, th- I think I think that pretty much sums it up, man. I don't I don't think we you know, there's really isn't a whole lot more to this game. Yeah, but, what's your what's your prediction, man? What's your what's your score prediction? Um, so I think we're gonna win. I think we're gonna win, but I think we're not. I don't think we're gonna cover. So, uh, twenty seventeen Texans take it. Um, I think it's gonna, you know, it's gonna come down to whether or not we can close off those edges and keep Anthony Richardson behind the line of scrimmage, and um, you know. And, and keep them from from running around um but I, I do think we'll win i think 2017 is what's going to happen Damn. Um, yeah and i'm taking the under i'm, I'm thinking that our defense is really going to show up and um you know make this a sort of a snooze fest of a game hopefully that's what i'm hoping for damn bro you, what you think you think it's gonna be a shootout no, oh, okay. no. I mean, I don't. I don't want that. I mean, I'm not mad at 17 for the Colts. Oh, but I want to see us put up more than 20, bro. Like, cause that's if if we only put up 20 points, then that means that we have not corrected the the the, the issues that that we need so, to correct, right? That so means I'm, that gl- I'm glad is. you. I'm glad you pointed that out in my prediction because that I I wanted to give them. I wanted to give them at least three touchdowns, but I just I couldn't do it, right? Dale, Dale ain't I. This this would be the game that's gonna tell me whether or not we're gonna be good offensively going forward in these next two games, right? Because Nico being out on IR for a minimum of four games, we know, you know what I mean? Like that, we, you and I had that prediction of like if we go one and three, or, or uh, sorry, three and one in this yeah. little stint, like that that's that's awesome, right? Like we yeah. already dropped one to to the Packers. We got to win out the next three games, which are also gonna be tough, but. I was a lot of that was predicated on Dell stepping up and filling some of that role that Siege that um that, um, that, that yeah that, that Nico leaves behind. That hasn't happened yet. And it not only did it not happen, but he had some pretty good passes that hit him right in the gloves and he dropped them, right? And so right in the hands, bro. What why why I'm not while I'm not writing him off completely, I'm not saying he's gonna put the cape on this week, right? So it's going to be interesting to see how we either do we continue to try to feed Dell and and have him try to get out of this slump, yeah. Or is Bobby going to do something to go? All right, I can't really trust Dell right now. We're gonna we're gonna feed him a little bit, but we're gonna to have to start, try to spread this thing around. So I, I feel like we're gonna see a lot of mixing on the ground, obviously, because he's really the only thing we got going on on offense. He's doing this. He's doing his thing. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I, I again, it's gonna. I just don't think we're going to be firing on all cylinders from an offensive standpoint. This is the most pessimistic I've uh, think I've heard you, bro. It it's I you, look you you you're not believing that that <laughs> look like I say I'm not writing off Tank Dell. I'm not happy with with his performances so far this season, but at the same time, I think as long as we can clean up the offensive line. And he gets more opportunities to get passes. If CJ can get a clean pocket, get the ball out to him, bro. Hell, he might. This might be his breakout game. It is should. So be. I, should I agree be. with that. But the problem is, is that we're going into what week? What what is this? Week eight. Week, week eight. Yeah. Okay, we're going into week eight. Have you and I had a conversation about the Houston Texans without mentioning the offensive line at all this year? Yeah, no. we haven't, bro. We haven't, and that scares the shit out of me. Because yeah, either way, last they, they, week, they, they, yeah, obviously. last week was the worst we have ever seen them. So there has been no progression. There has been no progression. 
Yeah, either they either they not blocking right, they're not getting their blocking assignments down, or they causing like egregious penalties to to cost us. The, so you're telling so 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 what in in order in order for in order for you to be correct and listen, I hope that you are. That means that we have fixed everything on that offensive line this year because yeah. we have seen everything that we could possibly see from them from a negative standpoint, penalty yeah. issues, blocking assignments, literally falling on our asses before the defender even <laughs> gets to us. Like, you know what I mean? Like it, it's, yeah. it's not, I, I, if there's anybody that I don't have faith in, it's this offensive line to completely clean things up. Right. We would have won last week had they been 20% better. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're absolutely right about that, man. So, but uh, that's look, it's football, man. It's I agree. It, this is what these brothers these brothers pay millions of dollars to to get this stuff right, you know. And look, call me. I don't want to say even say overly optimistic. They got to do their job, Omar. They yeah. got to they got to do their job, and they got to do it right. They got to clean the stuff up. They yeah. CJ cannot be running around the field being chased on every play, being pressured every we can't ten out that. of twelve passing plays last last week. That yeah, can't he was happen. running for his life. They, it just it just can't happen. And, and look, I don't think that it I don't think that it is going to happen. Which he has more time to throw, m- better passes. And look, I, well, hold on, let me backtrack. I don't want to say I don't want to make it sound like it was CJ's fault that Tank dropped any passes because he put him right where it needs to be. Right. Right. But I think that with more volume, being able to sustain drives, get t- Tank more opportunities, I think he'll have a better game. So, with that being said. Like I say, I like the 17 for the Colts. I'm 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 gonna stick with that, man. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna give us, man. We putting we I like I like 34. I like 34. Whoa, I like 34. Yeah, okay. Think about it, man. You know, we get the ball, you know, we we can move the ball when, we when CJ's protected. You know what I'm saying? We'll we'll get we'll get some touchdowns with with Kaimi gonna do his thing. Um yeah, 30 34 17. 34 17. So I'm going two touchdowns, two field goals is what I'm saying is going to happen. Two touchdowns, two field goals. You're saying 34? 34. 34 17. So what's that? Okay, so you think you think CJ, you think it's CJ going to have a day? CJ should have a day, man. CJ should have a day on this I don't trade trust our day. offensive line, bro, at all. I don't trust our offensive line. I, listen, again, we're both predicting dubs, but I, I hope you're right. Because then that that yeah. that makes me very optimistic for for the next two games. Uh, for the before, game. Yeah, before Nico comes back, um, man, can you imagine that, bro? High powered offense with mixing running the ball, Nico, bro. That's another thing we haven't talked about either is uh, Stefan Diggs. You know, Diggs yeah. has been. I almost feel like Diggs has been just an afterthought. Yes, yeah, true, man. Yeah, we we're not talking about him. Um, yeah, he's been he's bro, he's we're been about him for he's the wrong doing, reasons. Motherfucker, they're trying to shot. fight everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got to fight the whole goddamn team before the game started. Come on, bro, <laughs> what are you doing? Here? <laughs> I like his style though, because he was like, "Hey, man, I'm not gonna be the bigger person." <laughs> he told him straight up, he's like, hey, "I'm not bro. gonna be the bigger person." But it, and it almost kind of like when I saw it, I was like, "Okay, it's not." If 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 that was CJ, that would be like, oh my god, this is so out of character. But since it was Steph, it was like, uh. yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. And then he had that long standing beef with uh uh with the one guy on the team. I can't forget. I can't forget. Wait, going way back to Buffalo. Um, I forgot the cat's name, but yeah, he had that little that little beef, uh, much much along the lines of the Andre Finnegan uh rivalry uh, that was going on with them. So habitual line step. Yeah, habitual last exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, but you know, yeah. Uh, look, Steph, do your thing, bro. He's he's been he's been he's been serviceable, man. He's yes, been doing agreed. exactly what he's been uh, brought over here to do. So, yeah, you know, hey, sometimes no news is good news, right? Like the, the less you hear your name, it, it, it probably means that you're just doing what you're supposed to be doing. So. That's right. Yeah, uh, I'm with that. But yeah, man. All right. All right well, shoot. Um. I guess at this point, man, we said that we was gonna let people know if we were gonna be at the game. Um, yes, I'm still on the fence. I think I think I am gonna be out there, man. But we'll try to get those details out in some type of way on uh, tomorrow. We'll do an yeah. episode tomorrow. 
detailing exactly where we'll be, what lot we'll be at, man. If y'all want to come kick it with us, we are. Um, if we are at the game, which I think we're like ninety nine percent sure, like yeah. you're gonna be out there for sure. But I I'm think gonna be I'm out gonna there be for sure. Yeah. Well. Um, we're gonna set up, man. We're gonna post up, and we're gonna be able to go live. You know, post game live. I know the last couple of weeks, man, we haven't done it. Uh, we love doing the post game with you guys. Though. Yeah. So we want to make it a priority. We want to be out there. Um, uh, if you're out there physically, definitely come kick it with us, man. Have some drinks, you know, hang out. Um, yeah. but if not, hey, you know where to find us right here. The only way to make sure that you know when the live starts and and all that is hey, subscribe, hit the bell notification, um, and hop on the camera with us. You know, same thing, same, same deal. You know, we're gonna do all of that, but yeah, we'll be live, uh, you know, uh, posting from the game, man. So I think that's it, man. That's it, brother. Yeah, don't forget right. to get your predictions into the comments. Again, be eligible to win a free shirt from the merch shop. Yep. Uh, you can go ahead and head over bullrunsports.com to start picking out your shirt if you think that you're uh, you're going to win. So uh, remember, you got to be subscribed. You got to guess the score and the winner. Um, yep. And then we'll uh, we'll announce that on Monday if anybody did in fact uh, and did in fact win. So we appreciate y'all watching. As always, we'll catch you guys. Over the weekend, love y'all. Peace. Peace.